oceanographer claims that the technology found at the bottom of the Bermuda Triangle is not from here. The Bermuda Triangle, also known as the Devil's Triangle, consists of an area in the Western Atlantic Ocean. It's defined by the points of Bermuda, Florida, and Puerto Rico. It's an area which is uh, full of magma. It's, uh, it's got volcanic, the, the uh, Caribbean islands are volcanic islands, as we know. Now, however, the triangle does not exist according to the U.S. Navy, and the name is not recognized by the U.S. Geological Names Council. This mysterious, uh, the mysterious piece of water is full of incredible stories and rumors that many in the scientific world consider neither real nor supernatural. However, most evidence suggests that this imaginary triangle may be the sign of extraterrestrial activity on our planet. Who can rule it out completely? One thing is for sure, in the last century, the Bermuda Triangle has swallowed up boats and wrecked planes while being blamed for the loss of hundreds of lives. At a depth of 2,000 meters, it's about 6,000 feet down, in the center of the Bermuda Triangle, two magnificent giant pyramids have been identified by Dr. Mayer, a German oceanographer, and his team using sonar equipment. According to Dr. Mayer, the technology hidden under the ocean in the Bermuda Triangle can only be described as ordinary, while it's very likely that it has not even born, it was not even born on Earth. Meyer firmly believes that the discovery of the secret bizarre pyramidal structures in the center of the triangle could shed light on the mysterious disappearance of ships and planes connected to the Bermuda Triangle. According to various and varied reports, American oceanographers say they found the irregular structures at a depth of about two kilometers 20 years ago, concluding that the surface of the structures was flat, suggesting that they were made of glass or some kind of a crystal. The supposed pyramids, which no one was able to photograph, are said to be three times the size of the Great Pyramid of Giza. The type of crystal from which the pyramids are made could be one of the main reasons why there are, disappear they, there are disappearance related anomalies in the area, but strange and paradoxical, they don't appear only at the bottom of Bermuda Triangle. They're also diffused in the space of all those who seek, in those who form an opinion, and in those who are thirsty to learn. First of all, independent researchers do not have the technology or the means to explore the area accurately and come up with more real facts about what is and what is not at the bottom of the Bermuda Triangle. Secondly, there have been many reports of these pyramids, but unfortunately most of them were considered as pranks by skeptics who ruthlessly attacked any information about these pyramids. Thirdly, it's said that the truth about the existence or non-existence of pyramids is only in the hands of the military and government services who have safely concealed all the data relating to the structures. And according to other reports, the area is under the control of the U.S. military and they prohibit further investigations. This, of course, is a theory supported by those who may want this to be the case, regardless of what lies beneath the Bermuda Triangle. Fourth, the existence of Dr. Mayer is disputed along with his findings and claims. So as you already realize, for some reason on this issue, there is information and neutralization. Thus, people are confused and do not know what the truth is and uh, what the truth may be, which may be very different and not as exciting as we all want it to be. Unfortunately, any information related to the mysterious structures beneath the Bermuda Triangle is considered suspicious and a hoax because of a large number of fabricated stories that have destroyed the entire idea of a mystery in the Bermuda Triangle. Consequently, any new allegations in this regard are met with suspicion. And today we can't accept or reject the findings of the alleged mysterious German oceanographer whose research on the underwater pyramids was allegedly confiscated by the military. We cannot confirm his identity, his existence, nor can we say if the mission was sought, uh, that sought the pyramids ever took place. All we can say is that the Bermuda Triangle has a long history full of mysteries that no one has been able to explain accurately. In the end, it's up to the reader to believe it or not, to, to, to such mysteries, mysterious discoveries, or to refute them. Well, unless we have information and evidence at hand, obviously we're not going to believe anything. 
This I've translated for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.